Hey everyone, it's Eva and I've been seeing chokers everywhere lately and it's totally in season right now. However, I haven't found any that I really, really like. So I decided, hey, let's just make a custom one myself so that way it's exactly how I want it. Feel free to take some of these ideas as inspiration or just recreate the exact same one and hopefully you can find your perfect choker too. Alright, so let's start off with this pearl one which I absolutely love because it's so dainty and so girly, it's totally me. For all these chokers, it would help to have a piece of thread or something that's measured to around the circumference of your neck just so that you have an idea of the length you're working with. I found a string of fake pearls that I really liked so I just trimmed it to the circumference of my neck. I removed some pearls at the end just so that I had some string to work with and then I just took a clasp and just tied it off. My string of pearls actually already had some chain at the end, however if you don't have any, I do recommend that you add some just so that you have a little bit of give just in case you want to tighten or loosen it. As for the hanging chain, I'm just taking a really long piece and then just kind of visualizing on the desk how long I want it to be and then I'm just cutting off the chain. Now that you have a trimmed off length of chain, you're going to take jump rings for both sides and attach it to the ends. Now find the middle of the pearls and you're going to want to mark it off somehow. I'm just using some tape just so that I know where the flower is going to go. Using another jump ring, you're going to want to loop in the charm and the chain. If your jump ring is big enough, you're also going to want to insert the string of pearls. However, if it is not, do not worry. Just close off that jump ring and attach another one to the pearls and the one you attached before. After that, you are done with choker. This next choker is stupidly easy to make. I just wanted to make it myself so that I could adjust the tightness to whatever I wanted. All you really need is leather cord that's twice the length of your neck and a charm that you literally just thread through and you're done. Putting this choker on is super simple. If you know how to tie your shoelaces, you know how to put this on. I just put it around your neck and then just tie a little knot at the back. I really like this next choker because I feel like it's relatively unique looking and it's pretty easy to make. You're going to need some flat wiring that's relatively malleable. I just picked mine up from Michaels. Bend the wire to about the circumference of your neck and then just trim it off. Feel free to trim more or less of the wire depending on how big you want the gap to be. Now take a piece of thin wire a couple inches long and thread it through a jump ring. What you're going to do with it is just wrap it around the end of the frame. To make sure none of the wire pokes you, take the ends of the frame and then just bend it back towards where you wrapped it. Repeat the same process onto the other side. To attach the chain, you're going to take a jump ring and then just attach it to one end. For my chain, it actually came with a clasp already on the other ends. If you don't have one, make sure you do attach a clasp or else you're going to really struggle to put this choker on. And then finally, just a hook on the other end to the other jump ring that you attached before and you are done the choker. I hope you guys really liked this video. Make sure you give me a big thumbs up to let me know if you did and subscribe for more videos. I want you guys to comment down below and let me know what you want to see next week and I will see you guys next time. Bye!